Hello. Um, hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Very good afternoon. And uh, a warm welcome to all of you to the fifth international conference on special education education research or ICER 2023. So uh, I hope you are fine. I hope you are enjoy your time here. I hope you are ready for. I'm actually sure that you are ready for you. I'm sure your work present, your presentations. And I hope that all of you here today have a great day, have a great time, and you have a wonderful journey to this conference. So me, I personally um, am very glad to be with you here and very, uh, I'm very happy, very excited to be in the Eastern 23. I was prepared uh, myself for this conference about months ago. And also, I uh, wanted to say thank you to the, to the organizer because uh, inviting invited me to this conference. It's the fifth year of uh, organizing this year. So I am the lucky one invited to this Saturday of 23. I'm very excited and very thankful. And it's an honor for me to be here with you. All the expertise here all the experts here about uh, uh, in special education. So, um, I, Dr. Muhammad Norazmi Benodin, I am from University of Bangsaan, Malaysia, here in Malaysia. I'm from a Faculty of Education, Special Education Lecturer. And then, um, it's an honor. I appreciate uh, your time. I appreciate your effort to be here and I appreciate the invitation and I'm excited to, 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 to have you here or the experts in special education. So again, um, I hope that um, my keynote session, keynote speaker session will give you the benefits and will give you some information about what happened in special education in Malaysia and also, I also excited to know about special education, education in your country itself. So again, welcome to the fifth international conference on special education research, 2023, 24th and 26th of March 2023, which is um, held in Xiamen, China. So I've never been in China before. I hope so that I will be there one day because I heard um, China is uh, have a uh, wonderful people. China have a great facilities and a great uh, people. And also here in UKM, um, we also have um, uh, the most foreign uh, uh, students from China. I'm also myself. I have. Uh, five students from China that I have to supervise for their PhD thesis. Okay, so I'm very glad and I, so that I, I hope that I can be in China, especially in Xiamen, for your next um, conference or for our next events. Okay, so let's move to my my keynote session, I will share to you my, my slide, my presentation slides. So maybe it takes some time. I hope you question. Okay. Everyone have uh, your breakfast, right? And everyone have uh, um, comfortable. Your seat, your your yourself, comfortable mode. So this is my uh, keynote speech 
for today's for ITSA 2023. Uh, it's about uh, the implementations of technology in special education classrooms. So this uh, this uh, research I'm carried out in 2019 uh, before we before we face the COVID-19 pandemic that hit around the world. So this um, this uh, research I carried out before the pandemic hit us. So yes, I'm Dr. Muhammad Razmin Nordin. I am special education lecturer, specifically in uh, visual impairment, Center for the Study of Education and Community Welfare, Faculty of Education, University of Kuangsaan. Okay, so um, before we go through to my research, so this is my university, University of Malaysia, or in English, the National University of Malaysia, second oldest university in Malaysia. Have been fifteen years, over fifteen years, served the higher education here in Malaysia, and then also we provide a variety of um, courses here. And we have uh, around 14 faculties that offers the uh, courses, such as uh, education itself, we have um, engineering, we have also health science, pharmacy, and also we have um, business management and so on. 14 um, faculties and also 10 institutes that offer uh, the best uh, courses uh, for higher education in Malaysia. So this is the front gate of my university. So this is iconic, iconic building in my university in the UKM here. This is a uh, we call as this is a hall, and the hall uh, actually is a uh, it's more to auditorium because it's a big one, but uh, more it is a big, uh, bigger than hall. We call it as day one Tun Abdul Razak. Or this in short form, it as a Dekta. Or in English, Tun Abdul Razak Auditorium. So this building uh, where all the students will have their graduate and have their uh, convocations ceremony here. So this is my faculty. Faculty Pendidikan in Bahasa Melayu, but English we call Faculty of Education. In Chinese language, I don't know. <laughs> Even though we here in Malaysia, we have also have a Chinese, Malaysian Chinese, but um, I can't speak Mandarin or, or Chinese language. Okay, so uh, the, 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 my faculty is uh, the one of the oldest faculty here in M. So as you can see, uh, the, the building also like a old old building because it's actually the, the old building here, and we stay for the instrumental value. So, so this is my autobiography as uh, as uh, introduce introduce myself. I'm Doctor of Philosophy, PhD degree in Special Education and Leadership. So I'm uh, I'm also the founder of uh, a staff technique, which is a um, quick thesis, uh, fast uh, quick thesis writing skills technique. I produce. I I I am uh, the founder of that technique, and then um, I also uh, receive invitation from various universities and also the NGOs. In and outside Malaysia as speakers, and also I have an editor in chief in uh, various journals. So, this is my book about this craft technique. So, if you're interested, you can email me norazmi at ukm.edu.my and o r a z m i at ukm.edu.my. Okay, so 
as the introduction for my research. Okay. Okay. So the use of uh, technology nowadays, okay, is a very important in the learning process. It's important. And then when, when the pandemic of COVID-19 hit us in 2019, 2020, 2021, the technologies is the most important in the learning process because, because um, we, are, we, we have new norms that we are learning through online. So we have, uh, we have to use technology as the part of uh, the learning process, as the part of the most uh, process in learning. So for, for, the, for the normal or for the general um, classroom also, we have to, uh, the technology is important, is most important in, uh, is for the uh, special education needs students. As you know, eh, special education needs student is the students that uh, have the, uh, the, the, the disability students. In Malaysia, we have three categories. The first one is, visual impairment, which is a blind. And then the second one, we have um, deaf and mute categories. And the third one, we have um, learning difficulties categories. And among these three, we also have the uh, multiple disabilities. Okay, you also in, 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 in these experts, you also in special action, as you know, that. Uh, some of the disabilities, some of special needs students, we uh, they have uh, more than one uh, disabilities. Okay, so student with disabilities need more significant technology in learning, especially in their classroom, right? Then, but not all of them can enjoy the whole technology. Why? Because they have their disabilities. So some of technologies we can uh, encourage, we can upgrade to to give more the meaningful learning process, the technology uh, usage is meaningful for the special needs uh, students. And, and then, uh, they had, uh, I say that uh, they have many shortcomings or challenges in using the, the technology for the, the uh, special education needs students. So here, three of my students in 2019, when I was in school, now I'm serving in um, university. Before this, I'm serving as teacher in, in school. So this is this three of my students. All of them are learning difficulties. Uh, we start in the left. He is a dyslexia. In the middle one, uh, he is uh, learning difficulties, and and the in the right one is uh, they uh, he is um, autism. Okay, so this also my um, one of my students. He is a uh, physically uh, physically disabilities. He has some. Uh, he has one uh, one one illness that his blood is not function day by day. So he is one of my students. This also this is uh, autism. Uh, autism students, so uh, they they are not interested. Uh, they they are not actually interested in um, academically learning process. But if we give give them um, hands on activity, they are excited to do. This is also in left. He is um, Down syndrome, and the right one, uh, autism. So, for the literature review, so actually we have um, a lot of um, a lot of um, research about technology, but uh, the technology specifically to special education uh, is not more than the technology used use in um, uh, mainstream classroom. Okay. So one of them is uh, a Guzman and M. Ms. Bong, Okay, so they said that uh, we we have to integrate the technology to teach the students. So it's uh, 
more important, the most important is we have to integrate the technology in the classroom or special needs education. So, um, this, uh, this research is, we, we want to, to answer this research question, which is, what factors influence the choice of type of technology in special education classroom teaching? So, as I said before, not all the technologies we have now is suitable to, 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 to special needs, special education needs students. So as a teachers, we have to choose which is the suitable, which is the, the, the best we can use in a learning process for the special education needs students. So what is the influence? What is the factors that the, the teachers are concerned to, the, uh, to choose the type of technology for the special needs uh, education, special education needs students. You see, you can see my students, they are very happy when, when we use the technology and they're very happy when uh, we, we are going for um, hands-on uh, activities. So, so is one of my, uh, my girl students. From 46 uh, students that I have in my school that day, only two girls. So in the left, the left uh, one is uh, one of the two uh, girl students that I have. So uh, also syndrome down and autism. And the methodology that I use to to carry out my search is um. I'm using um, qualitative uh, research approach. I am uh, I'm conducting the in interview sessions for uh, for the, the thirty teachers, the uh, for thirty teachers, special education teachers. Okay, I'm I'm conducting uh, conducted the I'm conducting the, the the group interview session. Which is the, the all the question is the semi structure uh, uh, questions, and then I uh, I'm grouping them them in the in the three groups, which each group it has ten teachers. So after the, the interview ended, I prescribe that uh, interview, and then I analyze using the thematic analysis. Okay, so the finding of my my uh, analysis is uh, from the three groups. Group one say that uh, we know how to use technology, so it means uh, they choose the, the the technology that they want to use in special education classroom is the technology that they use uh, they know to use it. Okay. And then they also said in group one, deaf students like pictures and videos. So they have to choose the technology which is in uh, verbal, auditory, and also the visual, visual, visual um, technology. And then um, they love to explore. So that means the technology that uh, they want to choose is interactive. So the students can explore it. And then uh, the factors of choosing that technology also regarding to the class, class size. And then group two, they state that uh, the technology they want to use, they want, what they want to choose is uh, less of uh, time waste. And then uh, adequate the access, students can see clearly that, clear that, that uh, they choose because of the, the uh, auditory and visual, uh, visual uh, technology. It can facilitate safe time, student understanding, and also uh, the 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 phys physically of the technology. And a group three, they said they, they they choose the technology because it's free. Very interesting and exciting, and they can uh, they said that the technology is a trending. Or the current one. Okay. 
So this is just um, activity that my students uh, do without uh, using the technology. Also, and then, so this is uh, what we can uh, discuss here. Okay, or the, the finding. Uh, special education, I mean, um, uh, in, in, in the process, in using the technology, okay, in the technology, this is um, uh, what we have to, to, to comply with, okay? So, um, uh, regarding to, based on the, the finding, so this is what we have to, uh, we can discuss. So, fa factors that technology integration uh, in teaching for special needs education students we got three uh, three factors. The first one, the student itself factors. The second one is the teacher's factors. And the third one is the materials factors. So the student factors means um, what uh, the technology have to do in uh, suitable what uh, the students needs or the students like. Okay, and then uh, the student, um, they, they, they want to explore. So the teachers, should uh, choose the what we say uh, the technology that encourage the exploring elements. Okay, so for the teachers' uh, face, uh, factors, uh, they choose because they 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 they, they want the technology not to waste the time. Uh, also, um, not uh, not use more money. So the teachers also. Uh, choose the technology because they know to do it. Okay, so and then the third uh, factor is the material factor, okay, which is um, uh, the physic, the physically, the, the physical elements of the technologies or the gadgets of the application, and also uh, the price and uh, the suitable uh, that materials for the, the learning process. So this is the three uh, factors that influence the teachers to use which technology category that they want to use to teach the special education needs students in classroom. Okay. So uh, I think um, that's all. What I want, uh, what I want to to share with you about my search. And you have to know that the technology is, is important for, for students in the learning process nowadays. But in the, it is, the technology is, is more important to the learning process of special education needs students. Because uh, if we, we go to the traditional style, we're not using technology. So maybe the students uh, uh, can uh, learns well but if we use technology we can attract them to be with us to be stay in the class be active in the in the class so uh, i hope that uh, my, my my keynote session uh, today uh, can give you the benefits and uh, i hope that you enjoy uh, my keynote speech for today and i hope so that the organizers uh, will invite me again for the next conference and I, I, I hope that we can meet uh, together again after this and thank you. All the best till uh, we meet again.